Sorry that I'm doing it over the phone. I'm at the TCL Chinese Theater right now. So, Where's that at? Right? <laughs> Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, you're right. I know where right. yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Matt, yeah. hey, con Matt, congratulations for your film, Transfusion. So, it, it is a fascinating film. So, tell us uh, where you got the original idea for, uh, for your film here. Um, well, I had... I'd written uh, a few screenplays that um, I didn't direct. Um, and so, although they were really well executed, I just didn't feel like tonally they landed where I thought they, as a writer, where they, I thought they would. So the next thing I wrote, I decided I would direct. Um, and to that end, what I needed to do was direct about things that I knew. And, and two things I really knew well were being a father. And I grew up, as an army kid, my father was in the army for 20 years. So my generation, I got to see a lot of these guys who had come back who were very affected. So uh, the genesis behind it was with those two things. If I was going to direct something, then I needed to direct uh, about things that I knew really, really well. So when you when you were writing the script, something like, like this, were you writing it in the, in the attention of basically directing towards yes. the script um, yeah. or or you were writing as you were going along in the with the intention of directing yeah like just i, I knew when i started writing this that that, that you know there's a, there's a long way between writing and actually becoming a film but um yeah i wrote it with the i was writing it knowing that i wanted to direct it 100 yeah from day one and from day one were you also in consideration that you were going to be part of this film too yeah, look, I had written that character for me, but in saying that as well, I, I, Gig, I hadn't, it wasn't set in stone. You know, like there's a, there's a, if you want the film to be made, you've got to entertain the idea, idea that, because that's a really good role, that perhaps, you know, to get the film made, then I might have to bring someone else who means more than what I do as an actor so that it gets financed. So we had Sam on really, really early, so that, was a big piece of that part of putting the film together. But I was always, you know, I was, I was always prepared to step away if I needed to. Um, and fortunately that didn't need to happen because it was a role that I really wanted to play. So yes, it was a, an objective to, to play that role, but I wasn't beyond stepping away and having someone else put in. I've got a film that would, you know, hopefully doing at the back end of the year. I wrote the role for me, someone else who's a very high profile actor who's got some, you know, He's a wonderful actor as well. He had read it. He'll step in and I'll move away. So I think, you know, I'm not a, uh, a bankable name. So the, a role like this could have gone out to a whole heap of, well, really, really um, bankable stars. And they probably would have really gravitated towards it. But thankfully, I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you're quite quite a experienced veteran actor, you know. Yeah, but there, there's a difference gig between you know I'm very well known, but there's there's you know there's lead actors who 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 attract finance and foreign sales and all that sort of stuff, and I don't have any of that, and, and that's fine. That's <laughs> no here nor there. But um, like I said, I was lucky because we had Sam as the attachment and and the level to which the budget came out. I was able to do it. So, um, but with someone like me, you, you know, if you're going to write yourself a role, then you've always got, you really do, particularly if it's a big role like that was and a showy role, you've got to be prepared to step back if you want the film to get made. And you want to direct it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you direct, a, you know, a very bankable name such as Sam, you know, in, in a film like this? Look, he, well, it was relatively... Well, it was easy because he responded to the material immediately. Sam is, what he responded to was the relationship aspect to it, which is the father-son. Sam's a, a father of three young boys. So that's what attracted Sam to the role. So um, the other side of it, which is the, the uh, return serviceman side, was something that we all researched and got acquainted with. Uh, he got particularly got acquainted with. So, you know, he came on board very, very passionate about it from day one so you know my process with him and my experience with him was was wonderful you know and we had met on Paxor Ridge uh, a few years earlier um and so you know, we knew each of each other well before that anyway but we, we just sort of clicked and um 
yeah, we had a wonderful time with it. I think, you know, it's as good as performance Sam has given ever. You know? and, and I think that um, that he's remarkably proud of, of the film and, and his performance in it as well. So when you have someone who's so committed uh, to the story and has responded to the story in such a way, then it, it generally makes for a good experience. But you, you, you also have to balance it with the young stars that you have to deal with in this film too. I mean, that, that, that's quite different. Yeah, and look, the young kid, Edward, who came on board, which is, which is his first job, um, you know, we, we saw dozens and dozens of young actors for that. One of the reasons that he, his performance is so good is that, that Sam really mentored him and, and, and took him in. And Sam was remarkable with young Edward. He, he, uh, yeah, he made it a very, very personal thing for him. So Sam's really good at, at passing things on, at, at paying it forward. And he sees in Edward uh, a, a young kid who's got a really, really bright future. And Dan was very protective of him on set. He's been very protective on him, with him, doing interviews all around the country. He's always by his side. So um, Edward's performance, yes, he's a very talented kid, um, but he was in really, really safe hands with Sam. So a lot of that, you know, because the, the, their scenes are so intricately and, and they're so intimate, um, Sam has a lot to do with that. Now, you know, despite the trailer suggests, <clears throat> this is much uh, more like a action and drama. How did you find the balance between those two? Well, look, it's, it's look, it, it makes, to me, it's a, it's a drama with, with some high stake um, situations at play. I never wrote it as a thriller. I never wrote it as an action film. It, it's, a, it's a drama. You know, people who sell the film will lasso in the biggest audience they can. The biggest audience they that, that is out there, as opposed to a drama, is an action. So I'm not in control of that. Um, and so some people, as it has happened here, will expect something different than, than what they than perhaps they think they're going to get and they can get disappointed. But the people who don't worry about that or haven't been sold to and, and, and come across it, take it for what it is. And it's a relationship drama, like I said, with some high stake pieces involved in it because of the situation that these guys and what they were formal to find themselves in. So for me, it was, it's, it's, it's a father son story with, you know, de dealing with, you know, his past with Ryan Logan's past. So um, I, I didn't, I didn't find it tricky because to me, like I said, it was always um, yeah. we into the, the, the drama aspect of it and the relationship aspect of it. And even with the aspect, the drama aspect, the relationship aspect of Ryan's, of Sam's character and my character, which is a really, really um, interesting relationship and, and a very, very realistic relationship with these guys as well. Most excellent. And uh, before I let you go, because I think uh, you mentioned that you're, you're back to, you, you love this directing role now, right? Uh, at this point of your career. Yeah, no, it, it was something that I, I really enjoyed and, and, because of this film, um, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get to do it again and, and um, you know, working towards something now to do at the back half of this year. So, um, you know, that, 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 should, that should happen. And, um, and, and hopefully, again, you know, we get the right people involved creatively and, and we get to execute it tonally the way that it's written. And if we can do that, then, then I'll be happy. <laughs> well, we're, we're very happy and it's... It... And I do get the father-son um, dra drama through this film of Transfusion. Thank you very much, Matt, uh, for speaking to us. And we should yep. do this again. Yeah, lovely to talk to you again. Good on you, buddy. Hey, thank you. Bye now. Hey, buddy. Bye.